It is finally here. One of the biggest NFT drops through Nike starts today. A lot of people are looking forward to this because this is Nike's Air Force Ones, one of the most prominent shoes it has ever made. In fact, the shoe is so popular that there is a movie around this specific shoe, popularized, of course, by Michael Jordan. Another reason this is huge news is because Takashi Murakami is a world-renowned artist, a living legend, some might say. And this is his first ever collaboration with Nike. If you don't know Takashi Murakami, he's known for his bright colors and his very famous Murakami flower that you see right here, popularized by streetwear, but also his art is in major museums all around the world. He's collaborated with Hublot, the watchmaker, and also the big brand LMVH. Murakami actually has a live exhibition right now in Japan. And to celebrate this release of his Air Force Ones with Nike, they've taken out a 3D, almost 3D billboard in Shibuya Crossing, one of the most famous and most busy crossings in the world. Nike is not shying away from the term NFT. They're celebrating Takashi and Nike's collaboration. This is Nike's own tweet, y'all. Another thing that makes this shoe so special is that it has artifacts WM chip. What's WM? Well, that stands for world merging. You can merge your physical shoe with an NFT. What that means is that you can authent the shoe to start. And potentially in the future, there is a where to earn, move to earn mechanism being applied here. Would you like to make money for wearing clothes and walking? And the answer is yes. If neither of those things happen, it doesn't matter. Murakami stands on its own. Alongside the shoes, also merchandise like clothing and socks. Your boy got a few, so he'll be featuring it on this channel soon. But check out the details on the shoes. It's absolutely amazing and it is flying off the shelves. Murakami has two editions of the Air Force Ones. Here we can see one is going for 4.9 Ethereum. In today's price, that's about $9,000. Now the one going for 9,000 is called Morikami DNA and there's only 145 of these in the world. So your chances of seeing someone wear these is very limited. In fact, I don't think anyone's gonna wear it. They're just gonna put it up on a showcase. If you want the more affordable version and I say this with a caveat, this one's called Morikami Drip. There is 4,000 of these in existence. Well, 3,914 to be exact. And right now it's going for only $1,000. So you may see some sneaker heads wear this out on the street, but a mass majority of them will have them in a glass box. You might think Murakami is the most expensive Air Force Ones in this particular job, and that is incorrect. Now, Murakami is the headliner for this Air Force One and Nike collaboration, but there are 10 distinct editions of the Air Force Ones being released with this NFT drop. Price low to high, we can see it go from 0.265 Ethereum with the highest being 4.9 Ethereum. Surprisingly or not, the Alien Air Force One actually has the most limited supply. There's only 58 of these, which is about a third of the amount that we saw with the Murakami DNA. However, we see that they're almost the same price. This is 9,000 and the Murakami is 9,000. People love Murakami. Scarcity doesn't win here, the living legend does. Each of the sneakers does have matching accessories, but it's too late to purchase those. Those have already been claimed and the claim window has already been closed. So you cannot purchase an NFT to buy the clothes, to buy the pants, to buy the socks, unfortunately. You have to look for those on the secondary marketplace if you want to complete your look. Those are going to be really hard to find. Which makes me think that I should have stocked up on these socks because those would have gone for a pretty penny. If more comments not for you, not to worry, there's 10 different editions. There's a lookbook created with Nike and Artifact. You can look through each one of the sneakers. The lowest costing shoe is about $400, which is about four times more than I would normally pay for a sneaker. But this is no normal sneaker. Like we said, there is a world merging chip that potentially has earning mechanisms to it. Make sure you click on the right OpenSea or Marketplace link because there's a lot of fake links out there. Purchase an NFT and I'll show you the website that you can claim it at. Make sure you purchase an NFT from the Preforge collection. What that means is that those NFTs have not been claimed yet. Then head on over to artifact.com and simply click on Forge. Remember, you have two weeks to do this. As of this timer, there's 13 days and 20 hours. Once you click on Forge now, they will take a look at the inventory and see which NFTs qualify you for the claim. Just select the quantity, select the size, and also it seems like there is a gift. There is a t-shirt that they're giving out for free with the claim of this shoe. Remember the world merging chip that we talked about where here's how it works. You click on this sensor icon right here. You scan the code with your phone and the phone will manage the link between the NFT and your physical product. I've actually done this before with a hoodie. So let me show you how that works. Here's how it works. You hover your camera around this chip right here and a pop-up will appear on your phone directing you to a browser. This is a browser and once it detects the NFT, it will link it together. You can see here that it says loading NFC data. NFC stands for near feud communication chip. And there it is, it detected that this hoodie is attached to this world merging NFT chip. 
You can see in the bottom, the ID number, the smart contract, everything. What that really means, we don't know yet. This is still emerging technologies. We're only in the second year where NFTs are majorly adopted by major brands. And we're finally seeing some activations here. If you've seen my videos before, you see my Morikami flowers there. I got some artifacts there. Now I'm not putting my own bags. I just like the activations that they have because I like Nike. If you haven't figured it by now, I also love technology and I love NFTs. How does this all work out? Artifacts is actually working on a game, believe it or not. They have a metaverse. They're probably going to drop a token. I'm interested to see how this all comes together. But what makes it stand out is that this is a very notable artist, Takashi Murakami, with a very notable shoe being dropped. That in itself, regardless of the NFTs, has got the sneaker world talking about it. But personally, with NFTs is what makes this more valuable, in my opinion, because there's a lot of fraud out there in the sneaker world. If you want to get ahead of NFT drops like this and see what NFTs I'm buying and selling, click the link down below. I chat up all day with my private community. If not, not to worry, I got three market updates weekly. Subscribe, follow along. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.